This video demonstrates augmented reality assisted total knee osteoarthritis knee joint. So using augmented reality a surgeon wears specs using the head movements you can choose right or left you can see once the knee is exposed fix the femoral tracker in the entry point. So stabilize the tracker with the pins so you can see the QR code the reflectors and use uh, support the side pelvic support with the tracker on it eventually it can give the reference so now we have a tracker on the pelvis side support and the knee entry point femur try to get the hip center of rotation we need a minimum of static of 10 points just slowly move the point so that it detects the hip center. So like navigation and robotics, it takes the hip center. So based on the hip center, there is a femur entry point. So both the pointer as well as the knee center takes the long axis. Use the cutting guide on the femur, you can adjust varus, valgus, flexion, extension on clinical examination if you find your knees lax or knees tight based on that you determine the amount of bone to be removed this system gives only your both coronal and sagittal plane cut execution of the bone in real time once you've done your distal femoral cut, you have to shift to the tibial cut. So what we are doing is right now, keeping the tibial reflector on the tibial entry point in the spine, getting the landmarks of lateral malleolus and medial malleolus. So by focusing your augmented specs, it can take the landmarks, you can see the tibial axis in real time. It gives you varus, valgus and slope. You can adjust the cutting guide, placing on the tibial jig. You can adjust while visualizing in real time of the cut plane surface, varus and desired slope what you require for that patient on table. So I'm trying to adjust varus as well as the slope. You can see in real time, you can see the center of the tibia on the axis, long leg. This is the power of augmented reality, which can do precise and fine. So make sure you focus your both the eyes to the a tracker knee tracker as well as the guide as shown here once you get achieve the target you fix the stabilizer guide with stabilizing pins four pins and lock the desired position and validate it So this guide gives you only, as I said, varus valgus and anterior and posterior slope. You counter check with the amount of bone resection stylus. Take the bone required. Then you, you see how I'm looking into it here. Yeah. I'm stabilizing it make sure I try to get in real time. You see the post-op x-ray and see the post-op scanogram, how perfectly it can restore it. Thank you.